Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White, and uh, today we're celebrating. We're celebrating. I'm an employment attorney, and so I need to celebrate um, anytime a gaslighting campaign fails. And we have been watching the most ridiculous, uh, bold-faced, nonsensical gaslighting campaign I have ever seen, put on uh, by one now ex-Governor Cuomo. Yeah, that's right. He resigned. That's why we're celebrating. It's not every day that Bill de Blasio and I share a reason to celebrate. Uh, but today, oh my goodness, he is going to be very happy. And I, I'm kind of thrilled as well. Um, so I'm sure you're all aware we've been covering kind of the backstory in this. Cuomo, you know, is facing allegations by 11 different women for sexual harassment, forcible touching, a variety of uh, really inappropriate behaviors. And, you know, he was calling everybody a liar and then you know the AG Letitia Jones came out and substantiated the investigation and said yeah there is substance here that there, there's there's substance to the to these allegations from 11 women right like come on and following that finding by the AG uh, Cuomo hired two of the worst attorneys I've ever seen um, to do these bumbling press conferences like the one one guy got up there and was like Oh well, the the AG is, is she's uh, shuffling his papers. She she's mischaracterizing what what she heard. It's like, dude, what? She's mischaracter. The AG is mischaracterizing. The AG built her career working with Cuomo. What are you trying to cast doubt on her now? Right? Like that's that's not the play. I assure you. Um, and this bumbling jerk like did like fifteen minutes on national TV of like trying to claim oh well she, she people in the AG's office knew people who who testified and that's not a it's state government everybody knows everybody stop stop come on um, and, and let's not forget that your entire core premise here well people knew people okay you're not talking about the 11 women though you're talking about the witnesses people knew people who were witnesses who substantiated the 11 women who complained about this governor's inappropriate behavior. Stop. So that was like, they got that guy off TV and that was like a disaster. Uh, and then like, I think three or four days go by and they brought in this retired federal prosecutor. Really? Government employee? You're going to have a government employee run your press conference on the most disgusting gaslighting campaign the world has ever seen. And I say that as someone who brought claims against Harvey Weinstein, right? Like, Harvey's a really bad guy, but he wasn't really quite so in your face with the gaslighting, right? He was more like, oh, maybe have you killed or blackmailed, right? Like, it was different. It was very different than, uh, these women are all lying, right? That's, that's the Cuomo's, that's the Cuomo's tactic. All the women are lying. All 11 women are lying. Uh, I'm Italian, so I can do this. It's okay. That was basically his take. So he brings in uh, this retired federal prosecutor. I'm like, come on. Really? You're going to... I mean, I guess if you have like a PI case and you got a fender bender, you get a retired federal prosecutor, th throw that person in there to try the case. That'll probably go okay. Um, but they're not exactly the best and brightest, right? They didn't cut it in the real world for a reason. That's why they fled into the government, right? Um, and yeah, I don't even, she didn't really make arguments in her press conference. I, I, I couldn't even really understand where she was going or what she was saying. Uh, she was very, uh, let me be clear, she was very clear, clearly spoken. She was very, you know, articulate. Um, but I couldn't tell you what she was trying to do. Like, usually you can be like, oh, okay, this person's goal is this. And they're trying to get the crowd to there, right? There's a goal. They're, they're aiming for something, trying to make an argument, trying to convince people, influence people. I don't even know if she was. I kind of had the impression she was just punching the clock, you know, like government employee style. Um, just saying things to, like, clear airtime in his, like, last death throes of a, of a, of a regime, I guess. Um, 
so he just couldn't even hire attorneys like not that surprising for a fella who bankrupted uh new york state but um so that you know didn't go well for a variety of reasons and, you know he's got everybody he's got chuck schumer he's got president biden everybody's calling for his resignation um i think nancy pelosi might have done so as well and and of course some republicans did it too but who cares because they've got ul- ulterior motives right um and, and you know it's not meaningful when it's the other side right getting in this bipartisan like to well not bipartisan in this really high conflict two-party system you're calling for the resignation of someone else on the other side nobody cares nobody cares we get it you you don't like them they're not they're not red or they're not blue so you want to fight with them and you're going to jump on the bandwagon right but it is more meaningful when somebody from your party says yeah yeah you're you're a bad dude who does bad things and you hurt a lot of women and you're also hurting the party so resign right and that that pretty much um happened it happened too late it should have happened like four or five uh, well actually at this point like nine months ago frankly but um at least it happened now and that's important i think there might have been statements you know by aoc and you know some of the more um sincere politicians you know i don't agree with aoc on a variety of things i don't agree with bernie on a variety of things but i do view them to be more sincere than the average politician right so i think some of them did you know come out swinging early trying to do the right thing and the less sincere to to the cynical minded such as myself came out later when things were safer when when the attorney general came and substantiated the findings a lot of people who were you know not quite so eager to do the right thing said oh, okay now is my chance to call on governor cuomo to resign um and so he has He has. Um, and a very powerful silver spoon baby child. Grew up with his daddy, the governor, right? All the money in the world. His bro bros, you know, CNN host. Um, we, as a society, said, hey, let's, uh, let's take that silver spoon out of your mouth. You did some bad things. We're going to spank you now because you're a bad little boy. And... Um, you don't get to do these things and you're not powerful anymore you're still rich we can't stop that but you're not powerful anymore and that's a massive victory right this this extends the me too movement from private sector bad actors right there's there's been a lot of wealthy old white men who did a lot of bad things who have been um kind of you know harmed by the me too movement for what they did rightfully so punished right but it generally hasn't been that effective against politicians and oh you can there's a couple there's a couple that you know mid-level i think there was even a house of representative you know but it hasn't been all that effective against politicians and this i think is a turning point i think it's really really important And I think it's also important as an example of someone who tried gaslighting, right? We need, we need to tell people, we need to make it clear to people, the people who want to do these things, that gaslighting is not a tactical option. It will not go well for you. It harms a lot of people, but it's not going to save you. So don't go down that path. And I think that if we can make that clear we're all gonna be better off so i mean this is like a 10 minute video at this point none of you really care what i have to say we're all just happy he he resigned because he did a lot of bad things and i'm celebrating i'm legitimately going to celebrate tonight um for for women for new york state for society as a whole i'm gonna throw down and celebrate tonight i'm very excited i'm very happy um I think this is an important moment. I'm sure many of you disagree with me. Feel free to leave comments down below. You can tell me I'm stupid. You can tell me I'm wrong. You can you can even agree with me. You are allowed to agree with me. How come none of you ever do? Um, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. It does help me to help more people just like you.